Hi, welcome to my first vlog. Wow. I cannot believe I'm saying this because I wanted to start vlogging for many many years now but I feel like only right now I have enough courage to do it. So a little bit about me. I'm Vietnamese born Ukrainian and I identify as Ukrainian even though I look Vietnamese but what? you know. So I will be traveling to Ukraine in a few days. We all know that there's a full-scale war in Ukraine but I have made a decision to come back and I don't regret it, at least for now. Well, no, I don't regret it at all. I won't be focusing on the war part in this first vlog because I feel like I need to do that in Ukraine and for you guys to understand more about how Ukrainians are living and the situation over there. I'm gonna talk about the war in a few upcoming vlogs if they ever happen, hopefully yes. <laughs> But for now, let's just start our vlog from Hanoi. So before I show you guys Ukraine, let's see a little bit of Vietnam. You know, living here for 8 months make me feel like I'm a local. So even though I grew up in Ukraine, my family always came back to Vietnam at least once a year. And, and that made us feel a lot closer to our culture. Okay, let's do outfit of the day. And I need to clean my mural. So from the bottom, we have Yeezy 500. And these jeans are from the blue t-shirt, which is Vietnamese local brand. And this shirt is from Tatan Studio, which is also a Vietnamese local brand. So we just had dinner at the Quan Mon, which is literally translated to delicious restaurant. If you ever here, come to this place and try all the Vietnamese cuisine. Thank you so much for choosing Pepper Blues for today. Grab your coat and grab your hat. Leave your worries on your doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side of the street. It's your step. Just direct your feet on the sunny side of the street. I used to walk in the shade with those blues on parade. But I'm not afraid. Cause it's over, just it's over. When, just when, and never, never have. With good dust on my feet On the sunny side of the street Hi Um, the weather today is very unstable So I don't feel like making an effort to dress up to look presentable So this is how I look most of the time I usually never ever go outside like this let alone film myself for the internet to see but you know what? what? vlogging is about being true to yourself and this is the real me no god please no 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 so the plan for today is to burn the incense at my grandparents altar allow me to explain a little more about the burning of the incense process so vietnamese Buddhist family like mine considers the burning of the incense a sacred ritual. 
You can burn one every day, but usually it happens on holiday, before an important event, or on the lunar calendar's first day of the month. This traditional practice is done at home or at the pagoda. It's a part of our country's cultural identity, and according to tradition, you should always light and burn an odd number of incense sticks. Each number has its own meaning and symbolic value. If you need medication and you don't speak Vietnamese, come to this place. Tell my aunt to call Zina and I will translate. Only in Hanoi. So I've edited some of the footage for this vlog and oh my god, the accent. I have this ridiculous accent for some reason. I don't know. I've been vlogging for three days now and I feel like I'm kind of getting used to talking on the camera but in the beginning it's so awkward like my intro i have no idea why i was so shy i'm so sorry you guys have to go through that but i promise i'm getting better i am getting better i'm not used to talk this much and i don't speak english so often anymore so i guess i just forgot how the words are pronounced i just wanted to get ready early so that i can vlog a little i'm definitely not a makeup person i've tried to avoid it my whole life but ultimately i failed but in my defense in my defense i did not buy any of my makeup all the things that i have was gifted to me by friends because they were like enough is enough girl you need to sort your life out so yeah but honestly why on earth do you need this many brushes like for what reason do you need all of these sizes why actually speaking of brushes i have bought myself this brush that i saw on nikki tutorials but i think mine is a bit cheaper because i only paid like two dollars this specific brush feels really nice like expensively nice you know luxury luxury okay one two three no going back here we go did it work this would save time in the morning because it's really really fast at spreading out i don't know you can't really see um the spots that are missed the miss spots so i guess i'm just not professional enough to use this stuff okay while i'm doing my makeup i wanted to share some of my old footage i have some beautiful content that i think you're gonna like also multitasking makes me feel a lot more comfortable speaking so now i get why people are filming while driving i don't recommend it but it's much easier to not be focused just on yourself and the camera that is my three days experience vlogger advice vlogger vlogger that was vietnamese accent guys it's getting ridiculous so in the beginning of this vlog you guys saw a little bit of the view that i have right so i live in westlake area and i think that everything is better here just trust me if you're ever thinking about moving to hanoi choose the westlake area these past few months i didn't go out much so all i did was uh, catching sunrise and sunsets and just filming the view i'll add a few footage here so that you guys can see with different times i mean look at this view look at this view i love the orange sky even if i'm having a bad day looking at the sky pink or orange or just beautiful blues with clouds makes me feel a lot happier i will definitely miss this view the one that i have in ukraine isn't bad either i live on lower floor in ukraine okay so the next footage we have is from Tasua hills so my friend took me to this place in march so right after i arrived in vietnam and literally right after all the events in february but more on that later remember to give me a follow on insta to not miss an episode of this amazing vlog 
my battery died while I was talking so I had to redo it again and my makeup is nearly done so we travel up north for five to six hours by car and stay there for three days and I must say that drinking coffee with this view makes you feel a lot safer and you just forget about all this stuff that's happening in the world and that's exactly what I needed at the time it's not as popular as Sapa, but if you feel like traveling to less crowded places and with the same view, you know, the hills and the lake, then make sure to come to Tasuo. Okay, next one I have for you is Ningbing. Ningbing is my mom's hometown. And in Ningbing, there's a place called Chang'an. The same concept as Hatlong Bay, but a little bit smaller again less people so we drove from Hanoi to Ningbing uh, for two hours then went to this Chang'an place and you can choose which uh, place you want to visit and the tickets price depends on the area but the range is around 100 to 300 K Vietnamese Dong but remember to leave tips for the tour guide or the boat guide because there are lots of them and they don't always get to work they only have a few shifts uh, in the week so a little tip is gonna help them a long way on to my next favorite city Da Nang Da Nang is my father's hometown ish I will show you what contents I have, but I wasn't vlogging all those time I visited Da Nang. I must say that if I wasn't living in Hanoi, I would definitely live in Da Nang. Must, must visit places in Da Nang area is Bana Hills, Hoi An and Hue. Bana Hills is where you can find the golden bridge with the hands holding the bridge. Personally, I wasn't too impressed. I mean, if you stay on the bridge, you can only take pictures, you know, a little of it. But if you stand further back, you can see the whole view, then yeah, that's beautiful. But the weather sometimes is unpredictable. Like, we went there in the morning and it was heavily raining. But then in the afternoon, it was sunny, but we were already like dripping. The view of Bana Hills is real pretty. The tickets I think got a lot more expensive since the last time I visit, so I'm gonna check and put the price here. If you have time for a one day trip, make sure to visit Hoi An city. It's an ancient city where you can like kind of see how Vietnam was a few centuries ago. But the best part for me every time I go to Hoi An is the Bang Mi. You know the Vietnamese by me is kind of popular since the French bought it to us and we kind of remake it to make it more Vietnamese and uh, those two mixes made a great sandwich These are two places that you should visit Definitely do not miss out on this by me And then there's Hue Hue is a little bit further, like 3 hours from Da Nang Hue is I think it's Imperial City where the kings and queen used to live And yeah, I guess if you like royalty but it is a different kind of vibe from the north and south. Vietnam has this all this different ethnicity. You will definitely feel it as you travel through north, central and south. So yeah, traveling in Vietnam is fun. Wow. This is basically the same spot I recorded my intro and you can see the difference. Like I am much more comfortable talking right now than I was a few days ago. I don't know why. I don't know why. I wanted to redo that intro. But I thought to myself, I need to see the growth. I need to see the place I came from and the place I'm here and the place I'm gonna end up. This last day in Hanoi, I'm gonna be spending with my friends. And Annie is taking me to all these street food places so that I can vlog for you guys. I'm not sure I can do the outro outside because it's gonna be really loud. So this is the perfect time for me to thank you guys for watching this first ever vlog. Hopefully it's going to be a long, tiring, exciting, beautiful content making journey. I do have plans for a few months in advance, so hopefully I have the energy to sort my life out and put that all in the video. But once again, thank you so much for support. Thank you for making this far. And if you have any comment or feedback, 
leave it down below or DM me on Insta. I'll see you soon. We're standing at the Kwang Chung Street where you can find lots of Vietnamese snacks all in one place. Oh, so